Okay, welcome to this vodcast about transcription and how to make it easier for you. The first kind of thing that I explored when I was taking a look at transcribing some of my research interviews was what kind of software and hardware could I use that would make the task a little bit easier. Transcription is basically taking audio interviews usually or audio notes and transcribing them into text. And the reason you'd want to do that is simply because a text version of the transcription is much easier to deal with when you're coding qualitative data, when you're reporting. Uh, most of the times you need to record text. That also allows you to uh, quickly scan through and uh, access the text for various writings that you might do. So I, in terms of going out and looking at the first place I looked was at Dragon Naturally Speaking. Uh, there is some um, software out there you can actually get for both the Mac or, or the PC and uh, I'm looking for being able to do both and one of the softwares is called Mac Speech Scribe um, and I thought Mac Speech Scribe would be a uh, it's basically a file uh, document or an audio file transcription software where you'd speak into a recording device you drop your audio into Mac Speech Scribe and it would come out with text well, practically, um, although that sounds great in, in, in uh, use uh, or in intention, it doesn't quite work as, as quickly as that. You do have to train it. Um, and one of the issues with the transcription of an interview is the fact that uh, you have more than one voice. And so I, I spent some time trying to teach McScribe two voices. Um, apparently it can be done, but uh, I didn't have a whole bunch of success with that in a short period of time. My manner of actually recording interviews is using my cell phone, um, uh, an iPhone, and recording the interview using uh, the recorder, the note recorder, as well as an iPad using uh, an app called a recorder, and having a speakerphone so, uh, to, to actually conduct the interview. So I would record on my iPhone and my, and my iPad simultaneously, in case that I would actually, one of them would fail. And um, the problem then is that your recorded audio has the interviewer in a certain voice, and that was myself, and the uh, respondent in a different voice. So that really leads to a problem of, okay, well, how else can you actually use software? Um, somewhere along the line, I came across in my searches a piece of software um, that actually provides a way to control and help transcribe. So in the end, I've, I've uh, found F5 for the Mac, F4 for the um, uh, Windows machine, same basically transcription software, and F4 or F5 are actually um, a software that allows you, and I'm just going to flip to it, uh, that allows you to uh, upload or load. At the very bottom, you simply go and load your interview, picking from your from your uh, um, WAV file or your video file or your audio file. And the nice thing about F4 is it allows you to do several things like control the speed. So I'm just going to play it and uh, do a little bit inside here. And I'll show you the next trick that I use in terms of my transcription. Um, so I've got an interview. Of that. So and the nice thing. So one of the nice things that you can do in F4 or F5 is you can control the speed. This is really important for, um, for when we're dealing with um, actually recording it and I'll get to how I actually spent uh, time to record it. The other nice thing is it's called spool time. Spool time allows you, if you'll notice on the software, it says spool time, 2.1 seconds. Every time I pause the audio and then restart the audio, it starts at two, 2 seconds or 2.1 seconds I've got it set at prior to where I paused it. So I have a second to get going and ah, right, I know where I'm at. So the actual trick I'm going to show you, um, uh, I think that's, that's pretty useful, is actually I... Use, I'm actually using Dragon Naturally Speaking to transcribe um, the audio rather than my typing. Um, although I'm a pretty good typer, I certainly am more capable of speaking. And uh, so what I actually do is, I've loaded up a, a transcription. I actually use a set of headsets, uh, headphones. And in the headphones, I'm going to plug it into the end of the computer. In the headphones, I'm actually listening to the audio that you just heard me play. Um, and I can start and stop that and control the speed. But the real interesting trick in, in, in terms of helping you write uh, a little bit quicker 
is I'm also using this software, um, Dragon Naturally Speaking. So if I start Dragon Naturally Speaking, I have my cursor inside the text box of uh, the F5 software. I click, click on it, and this allows me to speak. And Dragon Naturally Speaking is actually doing the writing. New line, new line. One of the nice things about the F5 software is that it allows you to time code automatically as you drop down into a new paragraph or line. New line, new line. I'm hitting an I on the keyboard. Do you see I hit an I and then I hit spacebar? Nathaniel. Uh, sometimes I have challenges. Sometimes you need to pause the audio in order to get it recording at a speed or place. So, new line, new line. Friday the 26th of August, and with me is my first interview respondent. My first interview respondent. So the data collected. And, I'll and so that's how I'm using a combination of software, um, F5, to control the audio um, and automatically drop in these time codes, which are very helpful later in terms of being able to find some of the transcript uh, data. Uh, find your access to your actual audio file. Um, it has hot codes, so I dump in an I, and it quickly adds my name or an R. Um, as well, I can, you can add more codes. And I'm using Dragon Naturally Speaking to actually set up and um, do the typing. Um, so a good combination. Um, this is what's worked for me. Again, those uh, the software that I'm using, uh, F5 for the Mac, F4 for the PC. Um, I'm using Dragon Naturally Speaking. Or I'm on a Mac, but again, you could have it on either. Not that expensive, about $149 for Dragon Naturally Speaking. The, the uh, transcription software is free. There is one other thing that somebody has identified and said, hey, you know, this works too, is actually a foot pedal. And you'll notice it right down here at the top here, the foot pedal. And the foot pedal allows you to start stop um, using the, your foot uh, as an actual control. Um, and so basically you can find the foot pedal um, on the internet on amazon.com or wherever else and, and simply it's a USB foot pedal um, and uh, I think they actually have it right here um, so yeah I mean the, the foot pedals allows you to start and stop as you uh, go through your transcription and frees up your hands so your headphones that's what's recording the audio or sorry playing back your audio in F5 your headphones is what you're hearing. You need the headphones so that the computer, when you're using Dragon Naturally Speaking, doesn't hear the audio that's being played. Um, and then you speak. So what you're doing is actually creating a new audio transcription, or a tr creating a new audio set of your own voice speaking into here. And uh, well, I hope that uh, helps you in terms of your transcription trials. Uh, my speed about is about uh, three hours for an hour. Three hours uh, of transcription. Sorry, it takes me about three hours to transcribe about an hour of audio interview, and uh, with a fair bit of uh, clarity, simply because I'm as I'm pausing, I'm doing all of the um, uh, corrections as I go. Uh, hope that helps.